Right now, we're going to talk to our very own Jim Lauterbach about Google Searchology and uh, what exactly is Searchology? <laughs> what, what the heck? So, <laughs> so Searchology was Google's attempt to convince a broad swath of uh, invite-only tech journalists that they were all really about search, and it was the 70%, we do 70% of our stuff's about search, forget all that other stuff. And so they did a lot of history of search, and we heard all about where Google came from, which, I mean, I'd heard, a lot of people hadn't. But the cool part about it was at the end they showed off some of the new stuff that they're rolling out inside Google. And so rather than talk about you know whatever Marissa Meyer said, I figured I'd show you some of the cool new stuff, if that's all right with you. I would like to see this. So let's start off with Google. Now, if you've gone to Google in the last day or two, you may have noticed that there's some new things that have come up. But the first that I want to talk about is more conceptual. It'll be coming out over the next week. It's called Universal Search. Now, here's the concept. You know in Google, you do regular Google search, and it searches through you know the standard set of stuff. Get your results. Right. You know. But, Table. but they have image search, and they've got news, and they've got local, and they've got you know six or seven hundred blogs, uh, all this other stuff that shows up. What they, each of those runs on its own set of servers, has its own set of algorithms, and does its own thing. What they've done, and this has taken over the past couple of years, hundreds of engineers, is they've merged all that together. So over the next week, they're going to be rolling out. When you put a search term in, it's not just going to search Google, main Google, but it'll search news, it'll search images, it'll search videos, it'll search blogs, it'll search local, and it'll integrate all that stuff together. That's awesome. Now, you may have seen some of this happen already, where if you go in and do a search for something physical, it'll pop up a little map in there. Right. That's just the beginning. And it's not up and running yet, but I'll give you an idea of what it might look like. Um, you love this human catapult video? I, it is the best. Okay, I'm going to hit Google search. <laughs> now, right now, what, you'll, what you see is just sort of the normal you know, results that show up here. What will show up when this rolls out uh, across the servers over the next week is you'll get a little thing right here, a little plus sign that will let you click on it, and you'll actually have an in-place YouTube area to watch that video right here on the results page, along with local search where you could find human catapults if there happen to be some anywhere around the world and other things. What you have now, though, and there are a couple of key things to look at in the interface right now. Right here, they've actually pulled in two different pages, and you can click from web to the video results here really easily, and here you can find that human catapult on YouTube that you love so much. This is just awesome. Um, go watch it. We're not going to watch it right now. <laughs> it's quick, but... Another thing that they did, and this is something you may notice, up here on the upper left-hand side, uh, of uh, they've actually added a navigation. About Google puts navigation time. into their interface, and this Robert, you we were talking about this before. You're like, I want this because it's got Gmail right here, right? Exactly, because every time I've uh, I use the Google Start page as my start page for my browser. So if that loads up and then I end up going to my iGoogle page that has a Gmail link, it was like a three-step process just to get my Gmail account from my Start page. This now puts that search, exactly or that toolbar right it at the top. It puts that toolbar right up here, like and also with, through the More button, you can pull up all their other stuff. Oh, by the way, Book Search also also is going in that Universal Search with one of the nice. others. Just that I realized it's there. But the neat thing about this is it's content textual as well. So if you go over to Gmail, notice here it's web, images, video, news, maps, Gmail, more. If I'm in Gmail, it changes to calendar, documents, photos, groups. So it's smart enough to give you what it thinks are the things you want, and then via more give you access to everything else. So that's the interface stuff that they've done. They've added that in. One last thing, Google Experimental. Hmm. Now, Google Experimental is, if you opt into this, you can go to google.com slash experimental and try this stuff out. Or you can make it so that you always go to the experimental version of Google, and you can help Google try out some of their new stuff, some of which, very cool. So let me take you through a couple of those. One is a new timeline and map view. So, and I'll show you what timeline looks like. Let's say you search for Thomas Jefferson, and you put in the little marker view colon timeline. Now again, this only works in experimental. Okay. But what it does is it pulls up a timeline here that's clickable, where you can go say, okay, everything that he did in the 1800s, 1780s, 1790s, etc. And as you scroll down, you see those results showing up with a timeline here in the vertical side as well. So horizontal and vertical. I like that as a research which is, tool. Which is kind of cool. And what do we do? Oh yeah, we did a. Uh, it works for lots of stuff. The Pentium. We did the Pentium view for the timeline, and you see nobody talked about the Pentium much in the old days. But then by around 1998, <laughs> it started talking Last about century. a lot. Yeah, back in back in the 1980s. You know, interestingly enough, uh, the, at any rate, it's not perfect, but you see how it works, and it's kind of neat there. Another thing they did is they did a uh, kind of integrated map, a map mashup, as you were, through the view colon map. And what it'll do is it'll pull up the search results here, and then it'll map them over here on a map of the Earth. And this is Google Maps. You can move it around and do all the cool stuff you want to do uh, there. This is an example of Olympics. Now, we did something that uh, you're particularly fond of, which is what? 
roller coasters? Yes. Now, the best roller coasters in the world. So I searched for best roller coasters Speed in the world junkie. with the, the view map, and we found that uh, here is a map of all of them, and now we have actually plotted Robert's vacation this year. Indeed. Because he's going to start uh, here uh, in Buena Park, and then he's going to go to That's Texas, to San Antonio, on to Florida, to Tampa. Um, and uh, again, this is using Google's standard results, so there's no guarantee that they actually are the best, but this is what Google's folks think are the best. One last thing over here I want to show you that's pretty cool on experimental search. Uh, let me go back to experimental search. Uh, keyboard shortcuts. For those of you who like to use your keyboard versus uh, using other things, it, I'm just going to show you a, a keyboard shortcut here. Over here on the left, I can use the J and the K key to move up and down through the search results. You see that? You see that going up and down, that little arrow over there on the left? And if I want to open something up, just hit the enter, and it'll open up that search result. Uh, or I can go back and do lots of different things. So that's kind of nice if you like to just use your, um, your keyboard to get and around And that's enabled Google. by default with the experimental page? You've got to go to the experimental page to run that. There are a couple of other things in there, including some left navs and some right navs and some other things that they're trying out. But really, the, the real big thing here is the universal search, tying all those different things together. Now with video, they're putting the video in place with Google Video, with YouTube, with MetaCafe, and they will be adding more people in along the road, including, but they couldn't tell me when we're getting our stuff in, which I thought was really important. So that, That's you know, cool. if you type in, how do I um, back up my DVD, which is something you did a little while ago, that should show up as a video in place in the Google results. We're working hard to get that in. That's awesome, awesome stuff. Convenient, too. There you go, yeah. Really? Cool stuff, cool new stuff from Google. All That's right. pretty neat. If you like the video you just saw, you can find lots more at www.dl.tv.